Hmm. I might be, uh, maybe I'm a reptile. It's like, it's like changing, changing skin completely. First day of 2019. Welcome to a new reality. I just wanted to talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions. Sunday. It's the first day after New Year's Eve. Every every uh, change of the year, every New Year, people are having New Year's resolutions. At least they feel they should have some. And people talking about losing weight, stop smoking, eating healthier, start some kind of a practice, the workouts. And uh, as soon as we are out, you know, three, four, five weeks, or maybe just days even or for some some a few months uh, it starts to fade out uh, people don't keep their new year's resolutions but at the same time it's um, kind of an event where it's actually uh, it's a platform or kind of it um, a trigger for for a lot of people to make positive changes in their lives uh, because they they don't seem to be able to do it um, around the rest of the year there needs to be some kind of a ceremonial event going on to make people uh, want to make adjustments. Well, thank you for joining us for this evening walk in the forest. It's cold, you just have to excuse a couple of frozen faces and a slow mouth. Yeah. Are you coming along? I'm here. Okay. I am here. Okay. So there are basically three tips I wanted to bring to you today to make sure that New Year's resolutions stick and uh, become a new daily life habit, a new part of you. Sorry for us disappearing in the dark here, but it's just making it more thrilling, mystical and interesting. So the three th main tips I have and I wanted to mention is that one well, of the first thing, things you need to do is first of all to make sure that you have clean a clean food intake. Uh, sort out your eating habits, stop eating shit, and uh, try to clean up your diet and the menu. And uh, get more vegetables and fruits and nuts. Uh, and choose brands that are organic and have a little, you know, kind of toxic. Um, ingredients as possible to make the food uh, you know as clean as possible because it affects your belly and your brain so some of the things when people talk about is when it comes to new resolutions is that they want to eat more healthy and of course they should do that but it's um, one of the things that I talk about is that to make make it available for you to think clearly enough to make the change in your life, one of the first things you should do is to clean out your body and mind and make sure you eat clean. And that's why you should first of all look into and get a kind of a new habit of eating and a new uh, set of recipes you can follow. It's not easy, it's not even in Norway, it's in a grocery store. 
fun, funny thing today is actually I'm helping, helping a friend of mine to buy some, uh, he called it groceries. Uh, this is a classic Norwegian pizza. <laughs> Shit food. Yeah. Stuffed with salt and sugar at the same time. So it doesn't, you know, really nurture him in a good way, but stops the belly from screaming for hunger. Another important topic, uh, the first thing is the food, because you want to make sure that your brain works. You have to be able to think clearly to make it, uh, make it able for you to make the right choices. The second one is meditation. I have mentioned that before. Arbella here, she's doing meditation as a life habit. Mm -hmm. We do that every, more or less every night. And the reason is that we now know that meditation works. Uh, scientists know that it works. Uh, there's been studies done showing how you can shape and mold the brain. So a meditation habit, to make it a daily habit, will have a great benefit for your progress in uh, your future dreams and manifestations. Fuck, this is heavy. Yes, we're heading to Oslo with Johnny's friend, Henning. Five hour drive. We'll make it. Can I go and talk to my landlord? Yep. Let her know. You haven't done that? No? Well, yeah. <laughs> What do you want to know? Ask me anything. Why can I have chocolate? <laughs> we talked about this, sweetheart. You're sweet enough as it is. Mm -hmm. But you're getting some bakery with raisins. That's true. I you should be make grateful. Yeah, you can make love to that in the back seat of the car. <laughs> it's getting late in the evening. I think it's uh, close to 12 now and we have truly been social tonight socializing with some good people we are at um, our friend's house further up in Norway uh, it's nighttime really me and my Bella took the night off now she's just getting her face wash and toothbrushing done and we'll have some meditation and stretching so the couple were visiting up here in um, kind of the mid um, mid position on the map in Norway. It's um, a couple that runs uh, one of Norway's more bigger, more spiritual magazines. This one. Now only web-based. People don't buy that many magazines anymore. There's a whole stack of them. What kind of book did you find? Uh, pyramids around the world. I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. so there's there's over 130 other pyramids other than the the Great Giza pyramids in Egypt. So mm. they're all along the the Nile. Mm. So it's interesting. You know, they weren't just tombs for the pharaohs. And the other pyramids no. in Tequahitakan were not just pyramids of sacrificial. Um, service and rituals they were there much longer you hear that old schoolers I guess most people know that now except that new more logical explanations mm -hmm. So um, the third tip I wanted to bring on, as a, at least my main tip, three tips today, is um, uh, start to consider 
your closest friends and family. It might be a time for you now to to um, spend more time with like-minded people because the planet is changing and humans are changing. Some people are waking up to see uh, new opportunities, see the world for what it really is. Um, kind of the, the awakening process that everybody talks about, right? Mm -hmm. So it might be time for you to hang out with some like-minded people, people that are on your level or higher, understand you, see you in the right way, motivate you, and uh, maybe even create some kind of a mastermind group. Uh, Marbella here, she have a mastermind group in the United States, and I have one in the United States too. You have a call every week, and it's like hanging out with a totally different set of people compared to, you know, uh, you know, casual people you meet on a coffee shop every day. So, it's a time to make a shift with that. What most people don't know is that everybody ties their shoes differently. I tie them really weird. A lot of people tie them really fast. It takes me a while to tie my shoes just because I feel like I want to make them look like bows. Okay, it's done. You're right. You're doing a good job, honey. That took a while. You're special. We love you. Yeah, there you go. stuff these are one of the typical buildings that I connect to uh, from the time of the Vikings this building is not that old I think we figured out it was marked on the floor 1891 maybe you could have lived here it would be nice Never mind. Yeah, it would be awesome You know, when talking about New Year's resolutions, it's a hip thing, sounds cool, feels good. New Year's Eve, you're around the table with family and friends and you talk about your New Year's, New Year's resolutions and you're pretty uh, inspired and fired up. But if they don't connect with you in an emotional way, uh, they won't stick anyway. So that's one of the, I think one of the bigger reasons why 
people's different uh, New Year's resolutions don't stick, they don't last, they don't continue to uh, to uh, have it as a daily life habit. Uh, and the reason is that uh, there's no there's no deeper meaning or purpose in that for them. People are motivated by a lot of things, and you know there's usually a lot of things we would like to try. But stuff that's supposed to be a part of you and become you and be a life habit. Uh, if, if it's not important enough for you, if it's not connecting with you emotionally, it's not going to stick in a way. So you really want to make sure that you want it. It's an important to you, important thing. Maybe even do that, do the new habit together with some other people. Amen to that. What is that? This is a charcoal mask. It is like cement and it will rip out all the terrible things off your face. Are you saying I'm ugly? Nope. I'm saying sometimes you can have ugly things inside you that we can take out. It's the last day of the year. It's very important to beautify ourselves for 2019. Can your war paint on. I'm gonna have fun with this. Okay, is it important to put on some tribal music, I think? Will that have a bigger impact on my face? And my spiritual development? Maybe. Oh, how's my hair? Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I was worried for a moment. So what we're doing here now is preparing to shed old layers. This is kind of the physical way of trying to remove old karma. Isn't it? Is it a car <laughs> karma, karma tube? I think that's what it says here in the fine print. Well, what's better on a Monday, last day of the year, to um, rejuvenate my facial mask? Well, we're actually, actually adding a facial mask. Camera died. Is this going to rip all my fucking hairs out in the face? No, the blue Am I going to hear her scream in the night? The blue one won't, but the black one will rip any hairs off you on your nose. Do I look beauty now? Beautiful? Okay, I want you to like a... So I can get... Okay, so while this is drying, while I'm becoming beautiful, can we kiss and make out? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my fur. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it? The freshness. Skin collection. <laughs> Okay, my face is kind of stiff and it's hard to talk. 